Hello, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, Living the Word. Uh, today, our passage is going to come from Lamentations chapter 3. And uh, as I was thinking about this this morning, I know I have a big grin on my face. That's because I just was thinking about the greatness of our God, how much He loves us, how much He cares with about us. And, uh, and it brought back to mind this passage in particular here in Lamentations chapter 3. I want to begin, though, in verse 18. And uh, and I'm going to stop on the ways. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to stop... Um, here, if we would, with both of us, uh, in verse 26, all right? So, Lamentation chapter 3, verse 18, it says, And I said, My strength and my hope is perished from the Lord, remembering mine affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall. My soul hath them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. So here's the, the, the here's the prophet and, and and he's lamenting literally like oh my I just kind of wore out I, my misery my affliction I'm a worm with my gall my strength is perished and things like this and then he says these beautiful words verse 21 this I recall to my mind therefore I have hope it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says the soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him and to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. So here's the point. When we're having those days, those moments, those times when we just kind of go, my hope is perished. I can only remember the wormwood and the gall, the bitter things of this life, the hard things of this life, the miseries of this life. When I have those moments, I should recall. I should recall in my mind and have hope that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. And I love this idea. You know, there's no reason why God should desire us. I mean, if you look at what we're, what value we bring, for lack of better terms, I mean, you know, I think about people, how many times people are like, oh man, I'm just so miserable and I fail God so much and blah, 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 and stuff like this. And honestly, he says there, that even, 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 even uh, the, the prophet here says, he says, listen, there's, we should be consumed. It's only because of God's mercy that we're not concerned, consumed. But God's mercy is for a cause, is for a reason. And it's not because of something we deserve. That is absolutely true. What it's for is because of this. As he goes on, he says, he says that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. That compassion, as we look about the Lord Jesus Christ, when it says we look upon the crowds or look upon the people and he would have compassion. I think about when he saw the people mourning at Lazarus' tomb and he looked upon them and he had compassion. He was moved with love for these people. That's where that compassion comes from. He was moved with love for them. Just like Jesus Christ, the God Almighty of the universe, has now been moved with compassion for you. So perhaps today you're looking around and you're going, this is a misery. This world is tough. It's not fun. It's whatever the case may be. And I'm remembering my wormwood and my gall, my bitterness and the hard things that I've had to deal with. Do me a favor, more in particular, do yourself a favor and recall the hope that is found in the fact that we are not consumed of the Lord because his compassions fail not. I love you. We love you. God loves you, and God's got this.